good morning, good afternoon, good evening mga Matibay Babies. Welcome mga anak to Matibay Class. And our topic for today mga anak is a continuation of our topic on on interest. Yes. And this time tinatawag natin siya as simple annuity. And again we are on our module 20 na. Yes, ang bilis mong tintin. Malapit na. Meron pang 16 na modules. And for this particular topic, mong tintin, we have two objectives. First one is to define annuity. Kulang ng S. And second is to solve problems involving annuity. Okay. Let's proceed. Ayan. So, we have our formulas. But first, define muna natin si annuity. When we say annuity, Ma'am Tintin, it is a sequence of payments made at equal intervals of or period of time. Pag sinabi Ayan. natin um, equal intervals, Ma'am, hindi siya kagaya ng compounded interest na, na mag iba, -iba. monthly. Oh. Eto, kapag sinabi, Fiction. for example, 10K, babayaran mo ng apat na buwan, fixed yun, pare-parehas ang amount sa isang buwan. Yes, and that's Ayan. annuity. So, examples of annuity are installment basis of paying a car, appliances, or appliance, house, etc., so on and so forth. Ma'am, naalala mo yung ano ko, yung motor na nilabas ko. Yes. Oh, so, kung motor. anong binayaran ko ng unang buwan, yun din ang babayaran ko sa ng pangalawa. Sa mga ah. and, and we have our formula in finding the present value. So when present when value, we say present value, that is equal to R times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to the power of negative N divided by I. Ma'am, ang 1 po dyan is sinatawag natin constant. Yes. Wherein P is our present value, R is regular payment, I is the periodic rate, and N is period. And when we say future value, it is equal to R quantity 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 all over I. Kung titignan mo, parang parehas, pero hindi. Oo, kasi ma'am, nag-raise po siya ng yes. negative 1 doon. And F is our future value, R is our regular payment, I is our periodic rate, and N is our period. period. So, para okay. mas maintindihan natin, let us now proceed, proceed on our with our example. Ba't walang ganyan yung ano? Mat 1 by 2. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> First example, find the present value of an ordinary annuity of 5,000 pesos payable semi-annually for 10 years if money is worth 6% compounded semi-annually. You take note, meron tayo ulit mga terms na kailangan tandaan. So, kailangan ninyo i-memorize yung annually, semi-annually, uh, monthly by monthly kasi magagamit ninyo yon hanggang sa mga susunod na topics. So, nakalagay dito, ang kailangan daw nating hanapin is the present value. At alam natin that the formula for our present value is this one. So, kailangan natin hanapin si R, kailangan natin hanapin si I, at kailangan natin hanapin si N. Okay? Yung R natin is the regular payment. So, based dito sa binasa mo, understood ng R natin is si 5,000. 5,000. Next, in solving for our interest rate, our interest rate is yung my percent, so we have 6%. At kapag sinabi niyang percent, dapat daw naka-decimal point. So, decimal point natin, 6% divided by 100, so it is equal to 0 0.06. It is equal to 0 0.06. Ma'am, anong kinalaman ng semi-annually, monthly, and the like? Yun po, semi-annually, alam natin ang equivalent ng semi-annually ay ilan? 5. Ang semi-annually is 2. <laughs> so, you are going to divide your interest rate into 2. At kapag dinivide mo yung 0.06 kay 2, ang hirap, you have 0. 0.03. So, ang gagamitin nating interest rate ay si 0. 0.03. Next, N, period. Ang number of period natin, ang sinabing years ay 10 years. So, meron kang 10 years. Pero, payable siya semi-annually. So, imumultiply mo siya kay 2. And you will get 20. Ang N natin ay 20. So, take note, kung ano ang dinivide mo kay I, yun ang imumultiply mo kay N. So, nag-divide ka ng 2 kay I, magta-times ka ng 2 kay 10. Since we already have our given, pwede na natin siyang i-substitute sa ating formula. So, i-substitute muna natin. We have now P is equal to R. But our R is 5,000. So, 5,000. Be careful kapag nagsasubstitute para hindi ka mamali-mali. 
times. 1 minus 1 plus. Our I is 0 0.03. Raise to negative. Take note, may negative yung N mo. So, negative 20. All over I, which is 0 0.03. Ayan. Next. Pwede naman natin siyang i-direct kapag ganito yung calculator mo. Pero for the benefit ng mga hindi ganito ang calculator, gamitin muna natin ng mano-mano. So, magmano-mano tayo. Unahin natin yung nasa loob. So, we have P now is equal to you copy 5,000 times. Unahin natin ito, nasa loob. We have 1 minus, yung nasa loob muna, 1 plus 0 0.03 is 1.03. Raised to negative 20. All over, 0 0.03. Next, you distribute the exponent. You have 5,000 times. Copy mo yung 1 minus. Ayan. 1.03 raised to negative 20 is equal to, okay, tingnan natin mabuti kasi naka 7 na take na ako dahil sa decimal points na yan. So, we have 0 0.5536757754 all over 0 0.03. Next, 5,000. 1 minus 0 0.0555 Shervaness is 1 minus 0 0.5536 divided by sorry, equals divided by 0 0.03 okay, so kukunin natin yung lahat is equal to 14.8 8, 7. Again, we have 14.877-47487. Pwede mo na yan ngayon i So, you have 5,000 times this one is equal to... Okay. 74,387.37. This will be our final answer. Ngayon, let's try to solve it using this calculator. Pwede natin siyang idire-diretsyo. So, kung papaano ko siya sinulat, ganun din ang pagkakatype sa calculator. This one. Okay, so you have 5,000 times fraction sa loob, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to negative 20 all over 0 0.03. Okay, so our answer is 74387.37. Mapamano-mano or yung dire-diretsyong process, dapat parehas ang inyong makukuhang sagot. For example number 2, we have Elvira deposits 1,500 at the end of every month for 10 years at a bank that pays 12% compounded monthly. Find the future value. So our formula for future value is this one. But first, kailangan natin kunin si R, si I, at si N. So given this problem, understood ng R natin or ang kanyang regular payment ay 1,500. Next, our I or yung interest rate natin is 12%. Pero sabi in decimal point, so 12% is equal to 0 0.12. Next, compounded monthly. Equivalent ng compounded monthly is 12. So yung 12%, i-divide mo siya kay 12. And that is equal to 0 0.12 divided by 12 is 0 0.01. So ang gagamitin nating interest rate ay si 0 0.01. Next, N. Ang sabi niya, it is 10 years. So, we have 10 years. Kung anong dinivide mo kay I, multiply mo kay N. So, times 12. And that is equal to 120. Ito ang gagamitin natin. Meron na tayong R, I, and N. Let's substitute it to our formula. F now is equal to, or future value is equal to 1,500 
times 1 is constant plus our i is 0 0.01. Raise to n, ang n natin ay si 120. Minus 1. All over interest which is 0 0.01. One. Again, magmano-mano tayo. So, kopihin mo muna si 1.5. Unahin ang nasa loob. So, we have 1 plus 0 0.01. We have 1.01. .01. Raised to 120 minus 1. All over. 0 0.01. One. Next, it is equal to, you copy 1.5. Unahin natin yung nasa loob. Okay, so you have... Unahin natin yung numerator, 1.01, .01, sorry, 1, raise to 120 is equal to next minus 1. So, you have, kunin natin lahat yan, 2.3003868.95. Check natin mabuti, 300 Well, over. You copy 0 0.01. Next, pwede mo na i-diretso yung nasa loob. So, 1,500. Yung sagot natin sa numerator, just divide it to 0 0.01. And you will get 230 point, kopyahin natin ulit lahat, 0 0.3868 9, 5. And then, just multiply it to 1,500. Mm, Agbagtit. So, you have 230.038.6895 times 1,500 is equal to, final answer is, 345058.2 decimal point zero three. So, you have 345,000 58.03. Let's check kung parehas siya kapag dinere-diretsyo. So, ito, isa-substitute natin lahat yan sa calculator. So, you have 1, 5. Fraction ng nasa loob, 1 plus 0 0.01 raised to 120 minus 1 all over 0 0.01. Okay, 0 po, it 354,058.03 Let's check kung parehas ang nasa module 345058.03 Parehas So that's Okay, paano naman kapag naka-table yung given? Actually, mas madali ito kasi hindi mo na kailangan mag-analyze Given na lahat ng data, all you need to do is to substitute So una, isolve daw natin si Number one is nasagutan na, sagutan natin yung iba sagutan natin yung pangalawa periodic rate, isosolve natin ang ginagawa natin is dinidivide natin kung ano yung given for example, sa number 2 semi-annually, so we have 15% or 0 0.15 semi-annually is 2, so i-divide natin siya into 2, 15% or 0 0.15 divided by 2, dahil semi-annually so we will get 0 0.075 0.075 Next, 12% monthly. Ang equivalent ng monthly natin is 12. So, yung 12%, i-divide natin sa 12, we will get 0 0.01. 6% monthly. Again, monthly is 12. So, you have 0 0.06 divided by 12 is 0 0.05. So, ipapakita lang natin. Ang nakuha natin sagot sa calculator is 5 times 10 raised to negative 3. Andito yung point, mag-move ka ng tatlong beses to your left. So, 1, 2, 3. Ito na yung point, 0, 0. 0.005. So, we have 0. 0.005. Next, 6% bi-monthly. Kapag sinabi natin bi-monthly, the equivalent value is 6. So, 6% or 0. 0.06 divided by 6 is equal to 0. 0.01. 0. 0.01. Next, Number of periods. Kung ano yung dinivide mo, yun ang itatimes mo sa years natin. So, you have semi-annually, 10 times 2, we will get 20. Next, 30 months times monthly. Okay, 30 months ang given. So, ipakita natin kung paano siya nakuha. 
30 months ang given. 30 months, ilang months ang meron tayo sa isang taon? I-divide natin siya sa 12 months. So, yung makukuha natin sagot dyan, ita-times mo ngayon kay 12 dahil monthly ang hinihingi. So, isolve muna natin si 30 divided by 12. We have 2.5. So, 2.5 times 12. 2.5 times 12 is equal to 30. So, meron ka ditong number of periods na 30. Next, 1 year divided by, sorry, times 12. So, 1 times 12 is 12. And last, 2 years times 6 is equal to, again, 12. Next, sa so present value and future value, kayo na po mag-solve. Ipapakita ko na lang ngayon kung papaano niya nakuha yung sagot sa first table. So, let's try. Unahin natin si present value. And our formula for that is this one. So, present value, we have P is equal to R. Our R is saan ang R natin? 1,000 times 1 minus 1 plus our I. Ang I natin is 0 0.04 raised to negative N which is 24 all over I is 0 0.04. So, gamitin natin yung dire-diretso. Let's see kung malalabas si 15,246. 1,000 times fraction sa loob. 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to negative 24 all over. 0 0.04 is equal to ayan, 15,246.4 96. And for this one, isa substitute lang natin siya ulit sa formula. We will get ayan. F is equal to 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to N which is 24 minus 1 all over 0 0.04 Tingnan natin kung lalabas si 39,082 So you have 1,000 1,000 Ayan Times 1 Sorry, 1 plus 0 0.04 Raised to 24 minus 1 all over 0 0.04 Okay, 39,082.60. Ulitin lang yung process hanggang matapos natin hanggang kay 6%. So, that is all about module 20. Ayan, so I hope marami tayong natutunan for our topics this week. Ayan, so lahat yan, kayang-kaya natin. And lagi mong tatandaan na tayong lahat ay hashtag matibay. Paalam!